I accidentally hit the button and it went out. So we're gonna have two videos. They put no representation on that, but I am told it is functional. Back in the house, there is an alarm system here, certainly an antiquated system. Most people these days would just have a brand new system put in. That's all digital. Half bath here for your guest on the main. Hardwoods in there as well. Carpet is, uh, excuse me, master is carpet. However, it is fairly new. I don't know the exact age on it, but he said it was recently replaced. Not your biggest master, I have to say, but decent size. It looks like a queen bed. Has a private entrance to the deck there as well. Double doors going into the master bath. Jacuzzi whirlpool tub. Tile shower. Master closet. Really pretty good size. It doesn't show well in a video like this, but really good, really decent size. His and her vanities and a private water closet here. I like that return for your AC being low. You're not climbing on a ladder. You have surround sound in here and I forgot to point out as well as that crown molding up top there. A lot of moldings in this house. Did a good job on that. I like the stairs are true hardwoods as well. No carpet there. You get to the top of the stairs. Let's go this way first. Instead of falling through an attic in this house, you have a huge attic storage area here. So no lack of storage. This could certainly be finished into another room if you wanted it. You guys wouldn't need it, but a ton of storage up here. Again, three bedrooms up top. This one is probably your smallest. It does have, I guess you could call that a walk-in closet. Smaller closet, smaller bedroom here. Probably 10 by 12, I would say. It does have a private bath though. Tiled shower around the tub. A little bit of a low tub. Crown modems in here as well. Two other bedrooms up here. They have a Jack and Jill between them. Good size bedroom here. Street view. I should show the closet first. Pretty good little walk in there. Jack and Jill bath as mentioned. Same cabinets and tops as the other bathroom we just saw. Little linen closet in the middle. And same style bath and tile surround there. Here's your other bedroom. This is the hall we were in just a second ago. Walk-in closet here as well, good size. A little bit oddly shaped. If I was gonna put a bed in here, I would certainly put it right there where that couch is. And it does twist around here for a lot of extra room in here and additional attic storage. Overall, I think you guys will be happy. Really good condition, I'm surprised. It's, uh, you know, construction quality is good. Good tall baseboards, molding everywhere. Obviously, these would have been brass initially. They've updated those in the hinges. Um, can ton of can lights everywhere. Um, I would say if, if I was going to nitpick anywhere, some of the finishings like the fans are a little bit cheap in some of the rooms. That's something I would probably upgrade. Um, to some people, the kitchen would be a little bit dated being the darker cabinets. Honestly, I think the white cabinet theme is going to wear off pretty soon and it's going to be back to this kind of classic look. Uh, I like the laundry on main since your master's here. Like the true hardwoods, blinds everywhere in the house, uh, plantation shutters in the bath. Overall, I think it's a really good quality house. 
So uh, let me know if you have any questions after the video and we'll, uh, we'll get started on inspections and all when you guys give me a timeline.